The leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, Mazi Namdekanu, has once again prompted reactions and issues to discuss, especially when it comes to the peace and unity of Nigeria. In the tweet that he made and aired, Nandekano aired his verdict on the hypocrisy type of peace that is being advocated in the country. This has driven me to react and write my own opinion on this issue. If left to the hypocrites come peacemakers we have in hashtag Nigeria, all of us would be dead by now. To them defending oneself, fighting for your right is beating the drums of war. You can only live in peace with people that want to live in peace with you. Uzoma Blessing Wabike had said. Well, these are the views of Mazi Namdekano's Twitter post. Nigeria is faced with lots of security challenges, an ethno-religious crisis, and this has led to different calls for secession. Despite all the injustices that have been going on in the country, some sects of elites and people still see it possible to preach peace in hypocrisy. Yes. This is because the cause factor of the relative crisis in the nation is being pampered. While those who are bearing the effects of their illicit deeds are unjustly punished for a crime committed on them by their lap dogs. Sometimes one has to concur with what those seeking justice are doing, despite the method it is that is being used to achieve this. In Nigeria, we have seen the likes of Mazi Namdekanu, Omoyale Shuri, and Sunday Igbuhu, who have been tagged criminals and terrorists for their actions to stand up for justice and for the truth. And one would wonder how come and how did we did the government arrive at this conclusion? You can't beat a child and still expect that child to smile back at you in his or her pains. Such is the pathetic situation that we are experiencing in Nigeria today. Just last year, October, youth came out in mass for a peaceful protest against police brutality. And the hashtag answers protest ensued, but they were maltreated and massacred all around Nigeria. And one would wonder and think, are we in a banana republic? The government has till today still not done anything about bringing the perpetrators of this dastardly act to justice. Though they had set up an inquiry or investigation panel but what is the conclusion yet Namdekano and his organization the indigenous people of Biafra IPOP has been tagged terrorists and traitors just for seeking to achieve their right to exist as a sovereign nation how is that a crime is that too much to ask? Though it may not be the best idea, at least, it shouldn't be a means to hunt down those who are exercising their human rights. For every uprising or agitation, there must be a factor. And this factor is facilitated by some perceived miscarriage of justice and maltreatment. In Nigeria, we have seen those that are rendering havoc and terror 
have been advocated to be granted amnesty, to be granted amnesty despite their heinous crimes. And one would wonder what exactly is wrong with this country. The political system has been hijacked by the North and is not, they are not willing to relinquish power for the sole reason of the majority wins the vote, which is a harsh way of politicizing the future and the lives of other minority ethnic groups in the country. If Sheikh Gumil would have been from the South, I bet you by now he would have been behind bars if not eliminated. We can only but imagine the impunity and corruption decaying our country. When Fulani headsmen who are unleashing terror and making demands to be given free grazing lands across the country against the will of the people who are the indigenous people to their states. The constant military attacks on the south when there is a big battle to fight at the northeast, in short, the, entire, the north entirely. Is it not fair to say all the peace being preached and canvassed for, for is just hypocritical theatrics? Why preaching one Nigeria and forgiveness, then go back to punishment or go back to punish the innocent people and pamper the infidels? Can we tell ourselves the truth and avoid all this ethno-religious bigotry for once? To make Nigeria work, we must face the reality and fight the demon that has been eaten or that has eaten deep into our unity as a country. If speaking the truth makes one a high-tech terrorist or a traitor, then the nation is being controlled by criminals. What are your thoughts, guys, concerning this particular news story as it were? Do you agree with what Namdekano has said? That if speaking the truth makes someone a high-tech terrorist or a traitor, then the nation is being controlled by criminals. Well, drop by at the comment section and let us know what your thoughts are. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you are yet to subscribe. Kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. And about to share these new stories with your friends, family, relations, and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support, and I will see you on the other news. Thank you, and bye for now.